All right, guys, drop, just hit the website, cboystv.com, along with a 15% off sale from now until the end of Cyber Monday in honor of Black Friday. So if you wanna pick up some gear, now's the time to do so because it's the only time that we run a sale all year. Uh, it's the biggest drop that we've ever had. So there should be something for everyone on the website, but just head on over and find something that you like. So on top of the drop and the sale, we're also doing a really cool giveaway of these two brand new Yamaha units. So right here, we've got a YFZ 450 four-wheeler, and then over there, we've got a YZ 450 dirt bike. Uh, these things are brand new, as fresh as they come, and they've got all the bells and whistles thrown on them. So one winner is going home with either both of these or the option of $20,000 cash. So every $5 you spend at cboystv.com automatically gets you entered to win. And it's also open for the first time ever to Canadians. So we're really excited about that. These things might be going up to Canada or we're gonna have to convert these to whatever you Canadians use for money. Maple syrup. Maple syrup, yeah, yeah. We're gonna convert this to maple syrup for you guys. Uh, you have until December 1st to get entered. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Enjoy the video. All right, guys, we are in Glamis, California with uh, two Player 600R snowmobiles that are not meant to be in the sand like any snowmobile, as you could imagine. So to get these things ready, we threw a radiator and a fan on the back to try and keep them cool. Some bogey wheels down here to uh, try and keep the track moving without getting locked up. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, these things are just snowmobiles. <laughs> Should not be out here. There's absolutely no way that they both don't blow up at some point today. But we're gonna have our fun until then. Just driving down here, it felt like snow. I don't think I'd compare the sand to snow. <laughs> Second you're off the throttle, it yeah, really yeah, feels like that. And the off. steering kind of like pushes the sand rather than like the carbides digging and turning. It makes sense because they're meant to be in snow. So we'll see how they do today. <laughs> So we had to do it. How's it feel? Feels pretty good. A little resistance when you land, but uh, just stay on the throttle. Kind of hard, the depth perception. It's so bright out here and you kind of don't see anything. It's like riding in a blizzard. It's like a whiteout. It's like basically just a sand blizzard out here right now. <laughs> You ever seen uh, sleds out in Glamis? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. We rode snowmobiles all over North America from British Columbia to Florida. This is the coolest, dude. This is easily the coolest place I've ever seen a snowmobile. It's almost to the point where I want to build it even better and then just have this as my dune rig instead of riding a bike or a side bike. <laughs> this is just all we ride when we come to the dunes now. <laughs> language for blowed up? I think it might be, unfortunately. She blew! What do you think about that? Ah, it's awesome. I've never seen one out here. That's cool. I think we know why nobody's brought one out here. I think it just blew up. Oh, Christ. Yeah. yeah. That's sad. Yeah, very sad. See what the rope feels like. Did you? Up. What My specialty. Expect? Yeah, he's very good at that. This is exactly why we brought two. One for a backup, because I mean, this was inevitable. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but it's an idea. And we're gonna just put the snowmobile on top of the roof of the Razor. We think it'll be easier than pulling it. How you doing, Ken? 
That worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna. I think I might pass on riding in the Razor back. Well, have a fun walk. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the truck is directly that way. You can see the truck over there and Ken takes he off. Is walking? Yeah, look where he's walking. He's walking the wrong way. What is he doing? Alright, we took the blown up snowmobile off of the roof and now we're putting the running snowmobile back onto the roof because we found out that it works incredibly well to transport it and we're going to Lake Glamis. It's not actually a lake, it's basically just like a pond from all the rain runoff but it forms like every 40 years and this year there happens to be one so we better go and water skip it. I think come down on, on that end, skip across, heading on the wall right here. I think you come off this lip where this drift is here, right in and across. That'd be a mood. Good. 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 Yes, sir. Now we weren't gonna meet you guys. We're here for you guys, dude. That's amazing, oh, wow. dude. Well, you guys are about to witness something pretty sweet. Mike's gonna water skip the snowmobile. No, no way. way. No way. Yeah, that's not how deep Let's it is. do it. No, how deep is it? I don't know. Oh, like eight feet. Well, it's deeper than you'd want. Eight feet. Yeah. Somebody yeah. might go swimming. Evan, you doing it? <laughs> I can, I blew my sled up. Oh my <laughs> of course, he blew it up. I was blowing stuff up. I have an unfortunate prediction. We installed a ton of vents to yeah. allow air in to keep these sleds cool. Mm. You don't want to do that when you're on water. Mm. Oh, that's actually a really good oh. point. I didn't think of that. I wanted to wait till we got out here to say that. <laughs> you think it will all help. jump in? We'll we'll save you for real. Do you think that anybody has ridden a snowmobile on the water here? Uh, no. Okay. No. You confident? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We're claiming it. <laughs> that was from Hurricane Hillary. Some people come in now here about 50 years. I've been coming out for 20 years. I've never seen this happen. Really? All right, Mike. I really hope I don't mess up. I think the most legendary water skip was still when CJ water skipped in Florida. But, uh, uh, CJ's not here, so Mike has to hold it down for the team. Is this a good idea? Let me rephrase that. This is definitely not a good idea, but are we okay with this thing also sinking to the bottom? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad you're okay with it, Evan. If he sinks, we're all going hey, in. We're all going in if he sinks, we're all going, going in. in. <laughs> What was that? What the hell is going on? Is this like a boy swimming team? I've never seen this many guys get undressed so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little sauce, guys. Man, two snowmobiles in one day. Good work. That is getting so good at breaking shit. So good. You, I've been you good. Are, you have been good, but you're just dialing it in, dude. You definitely. Oh! Whoa, 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 that was a weird bug. What the f was that? I don't know. It looked like a cockroach. <laughs> Another legendary Sea Boys video right there. Chalked up two snowmobiles strictly for the enjoyment of the people. So if you haven't subscribed, oh, I was so subscribe. All right, so if you guys saw previously, we tried setting up Big Ken with Gavin's sister. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. And since then, Big Ken has been painfully single. Uh, he's a very busy guy and he doesn't have a lot of time for dating. So we figured we'd help him out today. We set up a roster of pretty women and we're gonna basically be doing Big Ken speed dating. So 
I mean, he doesn't know it yet, but hopefully he'll be finding love today. <laughs> All right, Ken. So we know you've been looking for love for a while now. Oh, God. And it's been tough for you. With your new level of fame and success, finding a girl with good intentions has been hard. Oh, boy. So we figured we'd help speed up the process a bit, and we lined up a solid group of girls for you to go speed dating with tonight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is gonna be the most awkward, what did you say, three hours of my life? <laughs> <laughs> but this is why we had you bring your suit. You gotta make a good first impression. God. Yeah, you gotta have a positive attitude going into it. Let those balls hang. Yeah, dude. You might find the love of your life tonight. If you guys line these girls up, I highly doubt it. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Do you I... think that we would set you up with some dusters? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Go grab your suit, get dressed up. Jesus Christ. Honestly, he, I, he took that better than I thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's he gonna do? We're his only ride home. Yeah, that's true. We are here. Ken, you gotta be thankful for this opportunity. Most friends don't go out of their way to line up ten chicks that are all them. interested in you. Why do I feel like it's the way you're saying this? Why do I feel like it's not chicks? They're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, you got wrinkles on the suit? earrings. I, in. You gave me 15 minutes to get this ready. <laughs> Wrinkly ass suit here. These gals, they're competing for your love. How much did you pay them? No, nothing. Nothing. We, How much did you pay them? They applied for a shot at love with you. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't believe how bummed you are to date like a dozen women simultaneously. Oh, God. Okay. You got this. You got this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me finish this video. <laughs> Relax, Ken. <sighs> They're here to see you. We're gonna make this easy on you. We're gonna have, be listening here. Keep that makes it more stressful, not gonna lie. <laughs> you won't be able to hear us, but we'll be able to hear you. If uh, you need a rescue mission, we'll come in there and we'll get them out of there and then get the next girl in there because clearly she wasn't the one. Jesus right? Christ. So we're gonna keep it moving quick for you. We're gonna find the love of your life in the process. <laughs> Why do I feel like you, got you guys being involved just automatically makes it a no? Ken. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Kylie. I'm Ken. Those are big hands. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Ken. Ken Izzy. Nice to meet you. I'm Ken. I'm Ken. Vic. Toria. Nice to meet you. I'm Ken. Heather. I'm Ken. I'm Ingrid. What's your name? Sophie. Ken. Barbie. Actually. Ken and Barbie. That's really cute. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm Ken. So I did this just for you. That matches. Yeah, I just have a good feeling about this one. Are you nervous right now? I'm extremely nervous. Are you right extremely now. nervous? Yeah. So, how have you been doing tonight? Uh, it's been, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I'm super nervous. Nervous? That's okay. That's okay. You look dapper in that suit. Thank you. You look really good too. Thank you. Thank you. Is she a wedding ring on? Thank you. Yeah, she has a wedding ring on. Very good. That girl has a wedding ring on. So, so what kind of car do you drive? Um, I actually drive a Mazda CX-5. That's a cool car. What color is it? It's uh, gray. Nice. What color, what color is the interior? It's black. Still nice. Um, I, I drive a, a couple cars, but okay. I've got a Bronco. It's got blue interior. Ooh, blue. <laughs> I'm talking about the color of his interior. So what's the like craziest stunt you've ever done? I broke his neck, right? I flipped a uh, side-by-side, if you know what that is. Yep. And I broke my neck, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, it was painful. I bet. So what do you like to do? Um, I work with kids because I have two of my own kids, so I really enjoy, you know, being able to learn new things and everything. So, so what do you do for work? I'm a psychometer for hard pivot. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Ken. Hi, I'm Danny. <laughs> okay. I prefer to be called mommy. Mm -hmm. right, are you guys like mommies or? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean. Sometimes we can be considered to be mommies. You can tell us apart because my boobs are bigger than hers. Did you get like a, a boob job or? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a boob job? <laughs> no, they're real. <laughs> Ken, backtrack, backtrack. Slow your roll, Ken. Do you, do you ski at all? I've never skied. 
The skin's fine. Like, if Ken I doesn't go down know how to slope, slope, slope. What is he saying? It's kind of scary. I'm like, if I go down that slope, will I like tear my ACL? Like, I have. You have. I have done my MCL a couple times. Ken's oh talking gosh. about his injuries now. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard you only had like 20 minutes before this. How did you prepare? Um, I didn't. I got wicked drunk. Okay. And that was all I did. And that's it. That was it. Jesus, Louise, man. And that's it. So, where are you from? I'm from Detroit Lakes. Okay. Where are you from? The Philippines. Thanks. What do you do? Um, so I make YouTube videos for a living. Do you know um. what that is? Social <laughs> media. <laughs> so, if you could take me on an ideal date, where would it be? Oh boy. Um. Um. What do you do for fun? Do you know what like jet skiing is? Like, <laughs> like, like skiing. I know what jet ski. I'm not that foreign. You like to jet ski? Yeah, like do like lots of jet skiing. Yeah. Now he's lying to more. <laughs> jet ski. His jet ski <laughs> left the lift three times. <laughs> so what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? So I like to do a lot of water sports, like jet ski. Like <laughs> jet ski lies <laughs> again. I would love to have kids one day too. But how many are you thinking? I think two is like the perfect number. Two. That's it. I think two, like two like, is the like, perfect number so they can keep each other entertained. Like <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's just trying to, like, yeah, we'll have him play with each other on that Would you be okay with like having like six kids? Cause I want to have like six a- Six kids? I want to have like a full house. Now he just said six kids? He just said two. <laughs> you gotta quit lying. Okay. Keep it honest, man. You're not doing yourself any favor. You're gonna lie your way through life. Yeah. Try to try to ease up on the like flexing shit, dude. Maybe don't mention that you drive a Tesla. Okay. What's your favorite song? Oh, Karma by Taylor Swift, actually. Right really? Now. <laughs> God damn, Ken, stop uh, lying! So what's your favorite song? Probably a Norwegian song. You wouldn't know it. It's like a Christmas song from Norway. Can you sing it? This is taking such a bizarre twist. <laughs> yes. Where are you from? I'm from Norway. That's why my favorite song is Norwegian. Uh, Did she say that first? He just asked the kid. You gotta pay attention, kid. See, I'm a mountain girl. I love snowboarding and everything like that. Do you like snowboarding or anything? I I grew up skiing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I, I don't like being bound in on the snowboard. Roll the footage of Ken skiing. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes it's hard, especially when you fall. Don't say anything about your knees, Ken. I don't know. I've, I've always had like bad knees and wrists, so. Yeah. Snowboarding has been always been like a oh, it's a little sketchier, a little. I don't want to push it too hard. He's a skiing jet skier. <laughs> Two things I haven't seen him do ever. <laughs> <laughs> or at least when he does do them, they're not very really well. Have you ever done anything like this before? I haven't actually. Yeah. Gonna have to do it again after the way this is going. Can I actually like read palms? Can you read my palms right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, I will. Okay, so you have horrible luck in love. Well, you're you're horrible gonna luck die in law. In love. Love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you single? Um, it, it's been we've just been super busy with work. Have you dated before? Like, have you had girlfriends? It's been a little bit. So, say we went out on a date, your first drink would be what? Uh, vodka water. I, <laughs> I love the cute. I've never seen Ken drink a vodka water. What, is he watching his fucking calories? Ken, tell the truth! <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna Where the hell did that come from? So you don't like vodka waters then? No, I, I you actually do. do. <laughs> they, they are just fucking unaware of what I like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know them. We don't that know That actually them. might be true. I love vodka sodas. <laughs> There's only so much we can do to help this guy. So would you ever date both of us? <laughs> um. I'm sorry, are you making you a little nervous? I'm just trying to get in <laughs> No, I think that might be a little one step too far. All right, you gotta pick one girl though. But pick a nice one, Ken, because like some of them want to go on a second date. Clearly we know nothing about Ken, and I don't know what his taste is, so just pick whatever feels right. But don't lie to yourself and them about why you're picking them. Good. That's all of our boyfriends right there. Are you guys nervous? No, no, but standing I just want to roast. <laughs> do, do any of you feel like it, it went good enough for the second date? 
I feel like yeah. Yeah. I feel like everyone. Like there was like an immediate connection. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, Ken Riz the absolute shit out of you. I'm <laughs> more <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, no. yes, sure. Okay, Ken. Stage is all yours. I feel like all of our dates went really well, but I can only give the roses to one person. That person is Olivia. Woo!